My name is Ashley, this is Life Beyond Locks, and today I am here with my third ever wig from the Wig Company's Statements Collection. I am really excited to look at this one because the first two, to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised by. I didn't think that they would be wearable pieces at all for the price point, especially since when you apply their current discount of 30%, you can get these pieces for less than a hundred dollars so i was totally shocked when i put them both on and realized that they were very very wearable i would wear them out of the house without question and so now i have two more to look at the first of which is this one here it's luxurious i've also reviewed summer heat and lustrous before so if you would like to see those you can take a look at my other videos but let's take a look at luxurious and get her details and then i'll put her on and show you what she looks like on me so I ordered her in the color F826. So what that means if you are new to wig coloring is that the base color, the primary color is an eight. So a level eight is about a medium brown. I have a medium brown hair, so it's a pretty close match to me as you can see. And then throughout there are very thin, um, they're not big, chunky, but nice thin highlights. And that's the level 26 that you're seeing. It is an average cap. And there's a lot of really great features here for a wig that comes in at under a hundred dollars one of which is this lace while well, monofilament front that you have here and what that means is you're going to have a very realistic looking front hairline if anybody's getting nice and close to you it's it, it mimics the look of a scalp you also have something that is not typically featured on a budget wig and that is a monofilament parting so there is a full monofilament part here that again if I put you can see if I put my skin underneath it it creates the look of a natural scalp so that means I can either wear a wig cap underneath my wig or I could apply some concealer some powder and it's going to retain that kind of natural look now I can only leave it parted here if I want to keep that natural look but that in itself is really exciting for this price point so well done uh, by the statements collection here on that in terms of the overall dimensions and things like that it's 4.3 ounces it has a six inch front uh, 10 inch sides and an 11 and a half inch back which is eight inches from the nape. So we've also got, I haven't talked about this, but we've got these open wefts that are nice and stretchy and we have adjuster tabs at the back here. Actually, I'm just gonna rip this off because we know she's not going anywhere. She's staying with me. Um, we've got these adjuster tabs that are done with Velcro, which I happen to love Velcro adjusters. I don't know what it is, but for me, they're just the easiest thing. So I love those. Okay, let's dive into her. But before we do actually, I just realized my wig grip, which I had on incorrectly, was set for a center part. But because I know that we're going to be able to see some scalp, we're going to go for that same left part that they've got in this piece. Nope, I wasn't wearing it the wrong way. Now I'm wearing it the wrong way. And you'll notice too that as I'm doing this, I have left out my biological hair here. If you have biological hair, you may wish to do that to allow you to blend with the wig. If you don't have biological hair, no worry, you don't need to do it. So to put the wig on, I'm gonna grab from the back and just dive in. And if you'll excuse me, I'm getting really close here because I don't have a mirror in front of me. I should have cut this off also. You know what I'll be right back I'm gonna cut off the tag okay that is much better with the tag cut so I'm just gonna give her a quick comb through though she doesn't really need it I can't believe this actually as I have this on I just caught myself in the mirror when I went to cut off that tag and I can't even believe it honestly the style is so wearable I was just thinking oh we're gonna go out and look at some a light show it's uh, the holiday season right now Christmas has just ended but there's a holiday light show in my city that's on through the new year and I'm thinking I'm just gonna wear this one this evening because it is so wearable and so cute and I love 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 the color 826 on me personally all right look at that okay so a few things to note about this piece number one she is not heat friendly so you don't want to be applying heat styling tools to this piece it will ruin the piece however the benefit is that you will never ever lose this style so i could go dunk my head in a bucket of water but when this thing dries it's always going to come back to this 
original style, which is great. Fibers that are not heat friendly have been known or criticized as being a little bit shiny or a little bit glossier. And I would say that this might be true um, of this piece compared to my heat friendly pieces from this company. But again, I don't think that they're any less wearable and it could really easily be fixed with either some dry shampoo, which is something that most people recommend or what I personally use. And that is a cornstarch baby powder. So I avoid the talc. I just get the cornstarch one and I use it in my bio hair to absorb oil. And I also use it in my synthetic wigs. So I'll give you a full view here of my left side. Obviously there's less hair on this side because the parting is on this side. And then the right side. And then the back. This is really cute, really fun. I love the average size caps uh, from the wig company. I feel like with the adjuster tabs, they're just good on me. There is a little bit of extra room at the back, but that's to be expected because I have a small cap at 21.25 inches and also because I have very little bio hair tucked in there. I have so little bio hair. Despite that, I don't feel like this is going anywhere. I can wear it comfortably. So I think that there are a range of sizes who could comfortably pull off this style, this look. It is super duper cute, super wearable. The length I think is probably a universally flattering length. I am five foot three, just to give you an idea of how it appears on me. If you're much taller, it's gonna look a little bit shorter on you. But on the whole, just a great little piece, very easy to wear, very affordable. Uh, whether you are looking, as I said before, for a full-time piece, or you're looking just to dip your toe into the waters of wigs, this one would be a great option for you. Um, the benefits of synthetics, if you're not aware, mean that not only does the style bounce back if it gets wet, but they're going to be a little bit better to wear out in the sun because they don't fade, the color doesn't oxidize. You know, if you're wearing it by a pool, you don't have to worry so much about ruining it. I would never want to wear one of my expensive human hair pieces out by the pool, but this in the summertime, I could comfortably wear around. I could even throw it in a low ponytail because there is enough um, length to pull that off. Right. And so it just gives so much flexibility in my day to day and I don't need to worry about ruining a more expensive piece. So thank you to the wig company for sending this to me for a review. I absolutely think it is adorable and I think I'm going to wear it out tonight. Let me know what you think. If you love the color, if you love the style, what colors from the wig company's lineup would you like to see me try on? I would happily uh, give whatever you want to see a go, so long as the wig company is, uh, is game to continue giving you this type of content. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.